All right, um, prompted to do one more thing today, and that's talk about um, Einstein's theory of relativity and the problem with the theory of relativity. I know already I'm going to hear it. Oh, there's a problem. There's no problem. I'm crazy. Just hear me out, okay? Um, I'm actually an electrical engineer. I specialize in ignition systems for automotive applications. Um, probably one of the best companies in the entire world that produces and manufactures aftermarket automotive ignitions. But um, there was one day when I was looking at the theory of relativity and I kind of linked it to um, my field. And what I saw is that E equals MC squared, energy equals mass speed squared. So <clears throat> I looked at that and instantly uh, mass stood out for some reason. And I thought to myself, well, mass is not a function when you're dealing with electricity at all. It's the magnetic field. It has nothing to do with the mass of the coil. The magnetic field that can produce generates the energy. And the speed at which I trigger components also determines the energy output. So I realized at that point that mass is not the defining factor in the theory of relativity. And in fact, to link the theory of relativity to my field, you have to change mass with gravitational force. Um, so in essence, mass is gravitational force because the imprint in time space that an object makes is not dependent on, is, is dependent on its gravitational force, not its mass. So even if you replaced mass with its quantifiable replacement for um, impact in time and space, which is the gravitational field, the equation still works, except now you're linking um, multiple fields, uh, which, you know, more unifies things. So, and now we're finding that's right, you know, so the theory of relativity, um, we're finding that <clears throat> everything in time space creates these ripples, and that has an imprint on time space, and it's not necessarily about mass. It's about the size of those ripples. It's about the size of the imprint. It's not about the actual physical mass. Because we can have a small item, uh, like a singularity, creating an extremely large field. And that, uh, is it necessarily the mass? It's not necessarily the mass. It's the imprint in time and space that's causing the uh, the change. And I had sent this to a couple of physicists. I haven't heard anything, but I think it's worth uh, you know, I think it's uh, worth uh, exploring. So I figured I'd throw it out there. Like Nico Kagru, I sent him something a while back, and I haven't heard anything. Um, but uh, I really think it's worth exploring and having out there. So I'm just gonna throw it on YouTube and. Um, if it's meant to have any impact on the world, it will. Um, just wanted to share. Bye.